OK, the first thing you need to do is go to Sketch and then include Library and then go to Manage Libraries. And then this will take a minute to load up, but when it does, go to Filter Your Search and type in Modbus. And then click on this and then go to Install. So it says Modbus Master by Doc Walker. Enlighten your Arduino to be a Modbus Master, blah 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 blah. So install that and then click Close. And when you've done that, you're ready to go. So, um, this is a bit of a mix of uh, code. Some of it I got from an example, some of it I, ad I adapted and whatever. I added some to it. So, you need to include the library, of course. Set the data enable and the receiver enable pin out, sorry, pins on this. Um, create an instance or define the class. Then we've got pre and post transmission. They control the um, the, the driver enable and the receiver enable uh, pins. Basically, it sets high here and low there, both together at the same time. Then in setup, this is what we've got. We set the pin mode of the two pins to output because, of course, we want to control whether the enable on the two pins is high or low. Then we're digitally writing low to both pins straight away. Then we're setting serial uh, communication at 115200 board, um, which is what I usually use anyway, so there's no problem. Modbus Master Slave um, ID1. In the documentation that you use, it should say, um, you know, the ID of the slave. So, for example, if I just bring over the documentation for what I'm working with, uh, you can see here the ID of the controller is one by default and can be modified, blah, blah, blah. So the slave ID is one. It might be zero or whatever for you, I don't know. Could be anything. Then um, callbacks to allow, um, you know, they're for a housekeeping really, to make sure we leave the, um, the pins at a state that prepare it for the next call. Then in loop, U int 8, so unsigned int result main. Then we're saying result main equals the node read input registers, which is uh, part of the um, Modbus class. Read the input registers and then choose the register. Type in the register that you want to read in there. So 0x, which means hexadecimal, 3100. Zero, zero. That's the register I want to read from. And 6 is the amount of. Um, uh, what are they called? Cells, if you like, to read from the register. So, if I just get the documentation up again. Okay, so we've got the documentation up. And if we go down, this is the register I want to read from. 3100, and you can see it here, 3100, and this is register 3100 here. So, we're going to be reading all these, but... I'm only reading the first six, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. And therefore, I should be able to get the solar voltage, um, the solar current, the power, which I'm actually not going to be using, but anyway, I could get power, battery voltage, and battery charging current. So, uh, I'm reading from those registers, or those, um, I'm reading from this register those values. And you can see over here, very simple. Serial print PV voltage and the no dot get response buffer and number uh, which it is from the one to six or the zero to six. Um, so zero, one, uh, two, and three I'm not using because that's power, and then four and five. So um, now according to documentation, which if I just bring that up again if I can find it, I've got to um, basically play about with the the value that comes back and divide it by 100 in order to get the real value and so I do that there and now oh there's a delay as well um, so I only pull this thing every second um, upload this code to the Arduino you'll see what happens next okay so if I just show you this now so you can see the cables plugged in then the cable goes right down here and there's my laptop there And there are two pins from that 8 pin Ethernet cable plugged into this little device. From there, you can see it plugged into the Arduino Nano as I showed you earlier. Then there's a USB cable that goes down to my laptop. 
and on the screen you can see if this camera will let you you can see there are various values getting read through into my laptop and um, you can see that it's flicking and new records are coming PV voltage, PV current, battery voltage and battery charge current and those values are live from this device using RS-485 on the Modbus library so um, for those of you who are interested that's how to do it so uh, thanks for watching bye